Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. And today, join me with my friend Adam. How you doing, guys? Uh, and we're going to be doing a first impression on the Lexus RZ. So I've picked it up earlier on today. Adam's pretty much only seen it for about 10 minutes. And we're just going to discuss and have a quick chat. So, first impressions, on you go. First impression, <laughs> first when I came out, it was literally like seeing the car and you can basically say straight away it, it was a Lexus. It's just a next sort of like, let's call it a, a revolution from. Uh, Evolution, I'm sorry, evolution from the older models, which I really, really like that Lexus decided to kind of stick to that, um, let's call it a, a design language. Um, and uh, so that's obviously stands out on the road the most. Um, also, yeah, jumping in, it's like full shank is the luxurious finish of, in, in Alcantara. Which is an absolutely beautiful shade, also. Uh, um, so, but that's obviously down to spec. Uh, I'm aware of that. Um, yeah, when it when it obviously like, comes to to, to, to driving, um, the first impression is is obviously about the suspension, which seemed a little bit more firm. Um, I would maybe I would maybe make it slightly more um, maybe tweak on the damping just a wee tiny bit. Um, but again. I sort of got a reference to the Volkswagen ID4, which I've been in a couple of weeks ago. Um, but that one was actually on the higher profile tires, so maybe that one made a slight, slight difference on it as well. Um, but yes, sitting inside as well. Um, the first thing which we obviously discussed before is what stood out to us is, is how obviously you get this little storage antenna. So I've never had like inner handles, um, then it would genuinely like. It would you wouldn't even guess that it's there. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that that kind of obviously there is a little handle there, so it's a an indicator. But I think it's a very very great storage, especially if you're a, a, afraid that something might break out break into your car and, and it starts to look for things. Um, so maybe if the handle wasn't there and you just see a bit of stitching going on, then you wouldn't even tell there is a there is a storage just under the under the um, the, the, the internal console. No, exactly. And I quite like the feel of the car. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like the, this is kind of suede material. Yeah, it feels quite plush. Um, the steering wheel like feels quite nice in the hand. It's, uh -huh. It just feels quite like le the Lexus EV. Basically, you're not getting the feeling like it's a big learning curve. There's a little bit of yeah. learning curve versus a standard Lexus. However, mm -hmm. there's still enough generic everyday car bits in here that you just get in and go, which is quite nice. Um, exterior styling. You made, you had some opinions on that. Yeah, it's especially. This thing that stood out to me where the the the, the, the part oh here we go what are, are we for like like on the roller coaster the, the acceleration that's insane um yeah but in, in in regards to 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 um the um to the body panels which i've mentioned before which is my absolute pet hate because as i refer to the to the defender like if you see the 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 panels that go above the arches or even on door um even you can see like the orange peel that's kind of like the way it's kind of painted and the problem is like i've noticed in some cars especially in the fender that as they start to age when it comes to like um outer sort of pressure which is the temperature or or, or sun like basically starts to maybe I don't know, it starts to change the shape of the plastic. So I would love to see that, how is that gonna look after the, the minute, a few years. I've noticed like there is a little, little, like little indentation, just a wee tiny bit, like as if like the mold starts to kind of lose, it starts to lose its shape. So I think it will kind of affect its overlook. So I would probably highly advise like soon after you buy this car to maybe put like a wee protective tape in, um, or whatever else that would kind of make it more i don't know last a wee bit longer yeah. if that's the right word that. um um overall overall like you can tell it's a lexus it's and, and obviously it, it's it doesn't does not necessarily drift away if it's other models um so so um so I, I, that's what i really, really like um however i'm not a saying that lexus is kind of like although it evolves from its older shape like to mm -hmm. us kind of catching up on this so i just hope that with that approach lexus won't shoot themselves in the foot when people start to go oh well just buy a to your odds you know what i mean because yeah, well like, that's about a twenty thousand pound difference i think between the bz4x and this because it's seventy six thousand pound give or take there you go. i think they're about 
50 odd for a VZ. There you so go. Sure. Obviously, this has got the dual motor, four wheel drive, mm -hmm. standard. I think this Toyota's front wheel drive, mm -hmm. a single motor. Uh, and as you feel, the acceleration is quite strong in this. Yes. Yeah, it's like these like low fives, but yes. Yeah. It's got an instant torque that the yeah. electric vehicle provides. Very, very what I want to show you is here, and you'll see it on the camera, but Adam's not seen this yet. So if you look up at the skylight, touch this button, and it goes opaque. Oh, nice one. Isn't that nice cool? One. So no, instead it's really of, cool. yeah. like, you can see that in the camera, instead mm -hmm. of like a sunshade, you've got yeah. that. Um, I don't think the Tesla has that from memory. I just remember it being very open all the time. I could mm -hmm. be wrong, maybe mm -hmm. an option. Uh, but I do like the fact that this has that little button you can push. Um, yeah, when it comes to also like the noises which we've just heard there, um, at, at, at one point there, there was a beeping noise, but it gave me an impression that it, it was actually a, a car behind us. Yeah. Um, of a, I don't know, something just frustrated, uh, uh, felt that way, but it, it wasn't the case. There's no, no one behind us at that point, and uh, and, and obviously, um, it, it kind of, yeah, so that's that's one kind of one of the things that some people people need to maybe get used to, yeah. Uh, or as we've discussed before, it's, it's, it's more in the favor of um, of older clientele, which which the car kind of makes them more aware on the road exactly. of, of what is really it was going quite on. bumpy here, uh huh. And it's well, it took it quite well, yeah. It takes it with considerable 20-inch wheels. It's strange that, that, how it did, the, it, did it, it felt a little bit more form in, on different roads than it was in this one. And we were aware that what we're going to approach, like, and, and, and obviously you, you've, you've drove through it on, on purpose, and, but it didn't feel as bad. So it's, it's, it's quite, quite, quite an interesting adaptation. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so it, I'm, I'm, I'm curious why is that the best, or maybe it's just me being me. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be a, a, a too sensitive to that. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's, we're just going to quickly jump. We'll do one motorway junction, right, just so you can feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, a bit of an acceleration. So we're going to be doing up to 50. We'll put the foot down and... And we're off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Actually, I felt it going down my feet. <laughs> so it's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty impressive. It feels heavy when it, when it accelerates. It, it does, does, it does, it does feel heavy. Yeah. It does feel heavy. I don't know the weight on it, but I would say it feels better part of two tons. But again, to be fair, like obviously, I think this is what sort of you might expect, especially if you're getting so much quality, what you're getting inside. Yeah. Like especially the the materials you're getting, like even even like the the the, the, the uh, flooring mats, like you can see, you get you get two different layers. Of, I, I, I wish I wish people that are gonna watch this will be able to see that or even have a look online. But it's again, it's like you can you can tell there is quite a few layers mm -hmm. of of um, of the actual mat. So that kind of shows you about the, the, the detail, the detail, the detail, the detail yeah. and, and the quality overall, um, which which obviously so. And that's what I like about clever engineering or clever attention to detail in cars. Yeah. You know, it doesn't always have to be a Lexus, but we're in one today and. That's what's quite nice about it is the, the feel and yeah, it's just the way it's acting like this. It's nice. Yeah, obviously. Okay. I like, I like, quite like the fence, but that's how we led off a, a few of that. Yeah, the, yeah. The first when I looked at it, I thought it was plastic, but no, it's, it's like definitely a, a synthetic soft, leather. Yeah, some sort of yeah. Kind of it's obviously like it was quite um, misleading. Is you can you can look at the texture with with obviously the center console and this is slightly slightly different. Um, if you saw a little bit soft, I'm wondering how would that last in, in the long term. Um, well, it's like the LC, I guess. That's got soft material everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm obviously I'm, I'm curious how that how that gonna last. Obviously, knowing that this it feels gentle. That's what I mean. Yeah. It feels very gentle. And space wise, being like an EV, you've got it. Just feels like quite cavernous in here, yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. A lot of room in the well. back. Is the leg room in the back is impressive. Especially, I'm, I'm not saying how even like you get little um, little um, a, a adjuster for um, for the temperature, yeah. and inside it, it's not just a digit. You're getting like a little coloration going on, yeah. and on the on the left is blue, and on the right is is, is, is red, which obviously indicates cold and hot. Yeah. Uh, which I think is a, it's a great great sort of like um, little detail, which which gives it a bit of exclusive, uh, uh, makes the car more exclusive, let's call it. Yeah, um, a unique point, I guess, that makes it look It's very good. unique, it's very unique. I've, I've never seen anything this like it. This guy runs on the road. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's, thankfully he's off the road, so we, we, are, we are sort of safe as yeah. well. Yeah, gigantic screen, that's that's one of the things that stands out. I, yeah. I don't think there is even any 
and a tablet that you can <laughs> buy off it in this size. You, you, that's, no. That looks to me like... I've not Googled it, but I think that looks like a good, what, 16 inches across, something like that, maybe? Oh, it's, oh yeah. 15, yeah. 16 inches. Oh, yeah. It's quite wide. It's, it's quite wide. It's very wide. It's very wide. You get in the very... car and it's just like there. Yeah. Although I'm noticing the one that is... is um, for the driver, for small. For the driver, it's small, but it's also it's slightly clear. darker. Uh -huh. I'm wondering if you can adjust the brightness because seen from here it seems a little bit. Oh, there's a button there. It's maximum brightness. It's maximum brightness. So there you go. I think yeah. that would have been a little bit, a little bit brighter, um, especially because we we're getting. I suppose maybe if you turn, make it a little bit darker in here. Is it changing much? The view? No. Nah, not as much. Yeah. So yeah, it would be nice if the screen was a little bit, a little bit um, brighter um, for, for for that. Um, Nice wee console as well, um, the imitation of the wood, um, yeah. it looks like. It's nice, it's just a nice cabin to be in and that's what I like about it, it's quite yeah, quiet. It's, very, com it's com very roomy, I like how there is a nice gap, obviously there is like no storage compartment but we obviously no. discussed that, there is, there is obviously one in the middle. Yeah, um, so, and you've, so got, you've got your wee radiator. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you've experienced um, that because it was on when you came in. Which exactly, exactly. Which, which a very hot heating element which is exactly. going to turn these guys off. So that's that's obviously makes it a lot better. So this is unbumped. This is quite bumpy. This beside the street. Very, yeah. And it's doing all right. It's doing all right. It's doing very all right. Very all right. Mm. Um, comparing even like to 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 my girlfriend's uh, Panamera, uh, um, I would say that's the dampness in it does a slightly better job, uh, uh, which is a plus obviously yeah. uh, for this car. So we're going so to put it to the reverse here. This is where mm -hmm. the beaks and bombs that the camera quality in this car is really good. Um, so I've only had it a day so far, so this is first impressions, but you push this knob down to the left So you get one beep like that for reversing Which I'm sure as we say we can turn off I'd like to think but because I've only got this for like the week mm -hmm. I'm not going to fiddle around with all that, but I like the 360 camera You can see yeah. it's stitched in like that Interesting enough that 360 camera is, has, I would say has got better quality than the actual reverse one. I however, thought that initially, but however, I think the reason being is because the the, the, the reverse one is three times larger. Yes. Which is stretching out the, pixels, the um, yeah. yeah the pixels uh, and and overall uh, and, so you and hear, quality. But you just hear all these beeps. Yeah. Yeah, those are a wee bit unnecessary, as if like we are aware that we're reversing, so like mm -hmm. we don't need like extra indication telling us that this is what's happening. Um, and then you've got another beep. Yeah, that's because the bushes behind us there. There's so. bushes behind us there, so it's, yeah, definitely. So it's like that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Totally, so it's yeah. yeah. It's it's all right. The camera quality is good. Easy to park, mm -hmm. even with a relatively large car. It's quite easy to yeah. sort out, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. It's it's it's, it's pretty good impression of the very very first ride um, as well. A lot of charging points. Um, yeah, USB C. USB C. Yeah, yeah fast charging. Okay. So yeah, and if you're an iPhone got... owner, unlucky. Um, yeah. Anyway, but unless maybe you got the the, the charge support, is that yeah. what it is? It, I don't yeah, know if, you can I've, put your phone there for yes. wireless charging as well. Yeah, so, so I suppose options. right. Okay, so so I'm taking back what I've just said, um, and um, and definitely. Yes, it's, it's an all like cabin space. Yeah, it's um, cabin space. I think it, the thing that I'm kind of obsessed with is just the Alcantara. Like it looks so premium and makes this car look yeah, so it premium as well. Like and, and, and beautiful. The balance, I'll, yeah. put, I'll try and remember put overly shots in this, but yeah, it's really nice. The back materials. Definitely. Probably not the most kid-friendly interior, that's what I take away from it. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine jam, butterfingers, all that kind of Yeah, I've already, I've already noticed that there is a little stain and, and, and obviously this little this little compartment yeah. here. And that's uh, not even Alcantara. The, exactly, so, <laughs> so uh, we'll be, put, be, we'll or, or suede or whatever the material is, it's, a, it's like a vegan suede material, but yeah. uh, it's alright. Totally. But it's yeah. nice, it's a nice colour combo, grey exterior, mm -hmm. black, two-tone paint this tan with the black stripe it's nice it's, it's, it's very nice it's very nice um, um, and i think it's a great balance in, in between these colors as well and and even that gray that gray it kind of and in, in, in some cases you would think it looks quite dull and, mm -hmm. and it, it kind of reminds me of like the cars which you could buy in, in 90s and could be a very very first car and yeah. this is the sort of shade that you would get in, on, on a dashboard but obviously that's an option which is obviously in this spec and, and it's nicely balanced out by by, by the um, lightly tan um, interior yeah. as well so, it, so it overall makes, thoughts uh, then? oh it's I'm, I'm very 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 would say 
impressed. Um, def, de, 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 does not disappoint. I, I wouldn't say that. I don't feel like I'm in a Lexus 100%. Um, I love even this little sporty accent, with even the, the shape of the steering wheel, mm -hmm. which is very, very close to um, to the one you've got in your LC. Um, which, which I, I like that certain manufacturers, especially Audi, because even when you buy an Audi A3, you're going to get the same shape wheel which you get in R8. Uh, and, and it seems like it's the same with Lexus. It, it keeps that a bit of a, I don't know, because it's obviously free arm wheel, it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. that, that like, extra sportiness. Looks very, like, I would say compact. It, it reminds me sort of like the, the steering wheel with which you were getting in your very, very first <laughs> setups and for your racing games. Right, okay. Do you know how compact it looks? It's like yeah. got a lot of buttons. The buttons are quite large mm -hmm. as well, but obviously they are e easy to read. And and, and a narrow can, rim, like that's quite a narrow. Yeah, diameter. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's few uh, everything else, but yeah, the rim is kind of narrow, which I suppose is kind of balancing out and also plays in the favour that because it's slightly like narrower, you're getting a greater view at, at obviously at this at the screen. The screen front of you. Yeah, it made it easy, clear to read. So that's the yeah. main takeaway. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been designed clear to read. Mm -hmm. And getting two point eight miles per kilowatt hour, which probably means nothing to you or I, but. Is that good or bad? You comment below and let us know. Um, yeah, completely. And about 91 miles of range. And you can probably agree with me that's about just over half a tank. Oh, yes, yes. Half a charge. Half a charge. Half a charge. Yeah, so 91 miles. So we're looking probably 180, 190 miles fully charged. Mm -hmm. Based on today's weather, it's 16 degrees in August yeah. in Scotland. But that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Totally. No, it's a cool car. I like it. I'm very it's, it's, a, for it's, it's, it's a great car. Lexus oh, giving it for a while to. Oh, it's a great, a great opportunity to have yeah. even to get. So, may as well say thank you to Lexus Glasgow for, at this point for allowing me to have this car. Yeah, I'll drop um, through and tell him thank you. Sure, <laughs> because, um, Adam's I'm, enjoying I am, I am grateful for car. this. It's, it's, um, it's really, yeah, really great. They're going be the car I show pals and they tell you about it. So, there's our three wee dynamic going on. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. totally. So, we're talking about. This, this roof here, so yeah. touch the button. Yeah, if we were in like California, somewhere like Dubai, when it's warm and time sunshine, I, I'm I curious at how... this point. Yeah, I've, I see. It, 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 in, in, sorry, I went to a period, yeah. but referring to your point, I'm curious if if the technology allows to maybe put a tent on top of that, and that would maybe um, maybe solve the issue in a way that like yeah do, maybe because it is dark and glass yeah but it's fine for us in scotland e exactly but i think and also i'm curious as i said about this range because we've got 91 miles right now the fender ac on and the cooled seats uh -huh. and obviously that was closed they're also trying to keep your car cool yeah you're going to lose range i think yeah that's that might be interesting so i think in this case i think maybe like extra extra sort of like a a, 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 a bit of tenting action going on uh -huh. um Put on, on, on top of that, um, our roof. It is a little roof. bit tinted, I would say, because you'll yeah. say it's not clear glass like some. But obviously, in like different countries, I think could have maybe be, that maybe extra touch would be yeah. necessary, but that would be obviously through some custom garage or whatever. Yeah. Or maybe it's, it's just an option that will come come up uh, down the line um, because it, it was just among the requests, uh, the, the owners of the car. So, yeah. all the same, that's like you, you've, you've seen that that sort of technology, Shmi Museum, Shmi, Shmi Museum uh, uh, to kind of like close off his, his space in his own office. Uh -huh. So, it's very, very impressive to see it in the car right now. Uh, um, as a as a as a one of the let's call it innovations that are going on yeah. and are available like in the camera, you can see the back seats how like how the kind of oh yeah change. yeah it definitely yeah, like you can you can obviously see it happening right now. It's uh, quite, um, you guys will see it in the camera right now, but that's absolutely. Quite... I'm, I'm very impressed, with, especially when you look at the back. You can maybe not see it as much, but the back seat seems like it's so farther out. Like you, it makes you think that. There's more space than when you actually look at the car from the side. Oh, there is. For, like when you sit back there, you, yeah, it, it's so it's much. It's so much room. space. I think because there's no petrol tank and yeah. flat floor, relatively flat floor. You're definitely sitting higher at the back. Definitely, you're sitting higher. Uh -huh. um, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely. I'm curious how would that be in the long term when you're driving, especially when you're having like your 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 your, your knees slightly up and and obviously your 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 pelvis is slightly. Um, um, obviously, like tilted forward. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm curious, like how how is that affect the the comfort of the ride as well? Um, because these seats do feel very very firm, but again, there is barely three thousand miles on this car, yeah. so that sort of like sponge will kind of work itself out. And um, they're fully electric because I've I've still to try and get myself 
Uh-huh. Like, I don't know if you've got adjustment doing the side of that, I should check. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you can raise it straight, okay. But so there's like a, have you got, got a suckler that. button for your lumbar support? Oh, it can go very low. Oh, that's impressive. That's, yeah, that's I did like that because you can go. Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think that. I've just discovered that button. Yeah. That's quite nice. We're going to be sitting oh, yeah. here playing for electric seats in the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we're but I'm sitting like as low as it goes now. Angles, yeah. So now I feel like. I feel like that's the thing that I've noticed that the seat completely changed the profile, but I've been pushing the button the same way all the time. So it feels like that the button is very, very sensitive. Oh, you kind of need to the front or back. It will tilt. It yeah. Front. Yeah. Oh, I see now. So basically, the button getting kind of tilts to the to, to the side, but it's like kind of it's like a lever. So it's like. You can obviously like adjust it. Yeah, it lowers the back or the front. At the it, front, yeah. yeah. So it pivots, so you have to kind of push both down to go completely down. Completely otherwise, down, yeah. Otherwise, you're pivoting, yeah. So I'm very, very impressed by the variety of the angles you can get of your seat to get that perfect position. I think you've got a perfect position at the front, like the back ones are fixed. Yeah. But the are pretty fixed. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very impressive. So we can obviously like. A taller some person day. like you, like you can have that lower back uh-huh. a bit, stretch your legs out. Completely, no completely. But I think for the people who would, would like drive quite a long time and, and to have bag difficulties like for example myself I think you can get the right height of the seat and the right profile so we, so you avoid any, any sort of like soreness throughout the long drive so I think this is a huge bonus uh-huh. uh, for people with especially having back problems yeah um, so, so I think that's a massive bonus I'm just checking and, uh, when we're talking about that the mood uh-huh. lighting I think we've only got like in there but you can, I can see it, you know, in there, you could probably see down there, maybe. Yeah, I can, I can see it at the back the as back, well. But there's not a lot. Like, it's even. not really a lot It's not like a Mercedes or BMW, there's not, like... I, I, even the brightness, when I look at it at the back, the brightness is kind of not the strongest. It kind of makes me think that it's very unnecessary, because when you look at it here, you can, you can barely tell. It's very gentle, and, like, it doesn't, it doesn't even stand out. Like, I think I it's to... more like it maybe illuminating this pocket, like, maybe a little bit. I don't know if it was pitch black. Mm. Might help illuminate what you've got in your drill card. It's, yeah. it's not really given like showing off lines. Like there's nothing going. As far as I'm aware, I can't see anything. Yeah, yeah. Like showing off any totally lines. Totally, that's true. We it's... keep touching the material. I think that's your favourite bit. Oh, it's hundred <laughs> percent. Like it's, it's it's the quality of it is 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 pretty pretty yeah. impressive. And this is cool. Like anybody who's n- not seen Alexis before, it's a double hinged armrest, and it's pretty deep. Like a pair of sunglasses in there, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty deep. But yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty, um, it's pretty impressive what they've done as well. The console is quite big as well, but like my my, my resting arm, like the angle, the angle is quite nice because I can like obviously I'm I'm getting a wee resting bit from from my elbow and this elbow as well, so I can like sit comfortably. Yeah. This seat genuinely feels like wider than um the one you will get in the office. I think the only problem is maybe where is this column right here? Is that it's slightly as I kind of position my elbow in the same line. But again, I think maybe because also I got my seat really um, backward, far, back, yeah. far back. If I maybe move forward, so for somebody who's slightly shorter, I think they can easily rest their both elbows, have them on the line, mm-hmm. and they don't necessarily feel as if like they 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 um they touching they touching the 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 the, the pillow as well, which is which is pretty impressive as well. I, I don't think you can get that in many cars. Um, so so it's it's just a big plus from Lexus. Yeah. I think you get in that extra comfort and. You do feel like you are in a Lexus as well. Like it's, it's like you genuinely feel like you are in a limo as well. So, it's so nice. it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, I'm sorry. Like, um, well, we might as well round up this video. Uh, thank you for your thoughts in the car. It's been oh yeah, great. very I'm well. Sure thank you for this. Hopefully, everybody's enjoyed well. the first opinions, um, the first impressions on the Lexus RZ. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe and thanks.